Last year at Shopify Unite 2021, we saw a set of big changes to the online store experience with Online Store 2.0, but this year, things are different. First of all, Shopify hinted on their blog last month that Shopify Unite would not be returning in 2022, and on June 22nd, they announced a replacement to Shopify Unite called Shopify Editions, which, if I understand correctly, will be more frequent than the previous Shopify Unite conference that ran annually. Within this summer 2022 edition, Shopify have announced a bunch of cool changes to the platform. But if you actually give the developer landing page a read, you'll notice that almost none of it relates to the online store sales channel or theme development. Does this represent a move away from theme development from Shopify? And what are the biggest changes to Shopify announced in this new edition? Let's discuss in this video. So first of all, I'll start off by saying that one of the new updates that didn't make it into the Shopify Editions Summer 2022 developer landing page is right here in your Meta Fields settings. If you head to the Meta Fields section of your settings, you can now see that Meta Fields are available on all resources. Plus, you can add a list of values and add some input validation to your fields as well. This is definitely going to come as a relief for some of you guys relying on meta fields to extend your Shopify store database, but it's not exactly an update exclusive to the online store sales channel. I wanna draw your attention to this animated diagram that I think perfectly summarizes the new summer 2022 updates. This is from the Shopify functions announcement video. Here's your typical dev stack. State is managed in a database. Application logic is implemented in the back end and the presentation layer is implemented in the front end. Historically, Shopify has made the database layer available through APIs and more recently has supported extending Shopify's data schema with meta fields and meta objects and made the front end extensible with liquid and hydrogen. The Shopify backend code has really been off limits. Open source solves this by giving you control over all three layers of the stack. But then you own hosting and security and as soon as you touch the code, you're on a fork. With Shopify functions, we now allow third-party devs to extend or replace key parts of Shopify's backend logic with custom code. This represents a radical step forward for building commerce experiences. Okay, so there's a lot of tech talk in there, but let's rewind it and break it down a little. Shopify has made the database layer available through APIs and more recently has supported extending Shopify's data schema with meta fields and meta objects. So this is what we just discussed around meta fields before uh, we started watching this video. Let's move on. And made the front end extensible with liquid and hydrogen. All right, so you should of course know about liquid here if you've been working with Shopify for a while, but what does he mean by hydrogen? Some of you guys might not be familiar with the term hydrogen. It was a new feature announced back at Unite 2021, but back then it was still in beta and you had to host the code yourself outside of the Shopify platform. Now, Shopify Hydrogen is available as another sales channel in your Shopify store, and the code is hosted on Shopify itself, just like how it is with themes. For those of you who don't know, basically Hydrogen is a completely different way of creating custom storefronts, which is more flexible than themes, but at the same time, more technically complex as it's based on React and requires an understanding of a whole new set of concepts. What I really like about Hydrogen in this 2022 release though, is the ability to now run your Hydrogen storefront directly from your Shopify store. To me, this is a big announcement and it might be enough for me to start using Hydrogen myself, especially since Shopify seemed to be putting more emphasis on Hydrogen compared to theme development, at least if this latest launch is anything to go by. Anyway, let's go back to the video. The Shopify backend code has really been off limits. Open source solves this by giving you control over all three layers of the stack. But then you own hosting and security, and as soon as you touch the code, you're on a fork. With Shopify functions, we now allow third-party devs to extend or replace key parts of Shopify's backend logic with custom code. This represents a radical step forward for building commerce experiences. Initially, I was really excited by this announcement as previously you only had two ways to interact with the Shopify backend. The first, of course, is through the admin interface, the second through the admin API, which required a self-hosted app or API to utilize. But as I dug further, I found that not only are functions still in beta, they need to be deployed to apps in order to work. Honestly, I was hoping that functions would be able to be edited in line on your Shopify store, just like how it's done in the Shopify script editor. But right now, this does not seem to be the case. 
Unless of course an app like script editor is created in future, which of course is a possibility. Zooming out a little bit and drawing our attention to the rest of the developer landing page here, you can see that almost all of this relates to app development, whether it be checkout extensibility, functions, or built for Shopify. There is a new plugin that provides automatic formatting for liquid code, but apart from that, all of these changes are about either app development or hydrogen. So it's interesting. Like I said, there's not much here that is directly related to theme development, but perhaps we might see more of that in the next release of Shopify Editions. Either way, it's definitely prompted me to take another look at Hydrogen. And now that it's easier to get started setting up a Hydrogen storefront, I might have to start giving Hydrogen a go. Anyways, what do you guys think of the new announcements? What are you most excited about? And what would you like to see more of from Shopify? Leave your comments in the comments section below. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and I will see you on the next video.